and also far out things. Uh, what I, I, I don't a dismiss them unless through previous research I know them to be not true, and b I don't accept them either. I put them on the back burner and I wait and I see what other information comes in relation to that subject. And then there comes a point. It's what I did with the paedophiles. I, I got so much information about this stuff um, in um, in the 90s. Um, and eventually there comes a point where you cross a line. You've got so many stories telling you the same things about the same people from so many different sources who are not connected that you cross the line. And at that point you say, I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, what it's turned out to be true. Have you ever sort of, um, I'd imagine you come into a few scenarios where you sort of fear for your life or sort of have you ever been worried? No. Never. You've never thought, I am coming out with so much, like you say, fantastical stuff that I'm, you know, the hotel I go to tonight. Right. You know. No, never. Um, and people say, do you have a bodyguard? Um, you, you know what a bodyguard is? doesn't. You know what a bodyguard is? A it, witness. It, it, it is an external acceptance. Right. That other people have power over you. I don't accept that. That's why I don't have a bodyguard. I hey, don't. Dude. Well, you don't bloody need one. Besides <laughs> you. Although, if you if you do need one, yeah, maybe me. Bloody good brain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I know what you're saying though. You but, you don't want to give them that power. No, I, I won't give them the power. Um, they can't. They cannot stop me. You see, we are consciousness, um, and 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 we can tap into expanded and expanded levels of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Um, that give us enormous power to do in enormous things, which gives us enormous levels of potential to make things happen. So, how have you? Have you? Do you meditate? Or no, no, I just just live my life, knowing that I have more power than they do. Um, and uh, you see, if you look at how this cabal works, it works on intimidation, and it works. Intimidation is another word of saying, getting people to give a shit, right? It's about persuading the public to give their power away to them. They give their power away at different levels to politicians, you know, do something instead of saying, what am I going to do about it? It's what they're going to do about it. Uh, and, and then they give their power away through consequences. Right. Like, what will this cabal do to me if I come out with this stuff? I mean, so many people have given me information. Some of them well-known people, and they've said, "Look, I'll give you, I'll give you it, mate." But for God's sake, don't say you got it for me. It's this fear. I write an enormous amount about the nature of reality and the nature of life and the nature of the eye. And um, we, this body, is just a vehicle for a very transitory experience in a tiny band of frequencies that we call the world. And, um, and, and when it's over, the true I, consciousness, awareness, will leave and explore forever, forever somewhere else. So when you, 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 you see life through that infinite, on that infinite level, then this little transitory experience we call a human life, it takes on a very different, um, a very different perception. For instance, um, well, they might kill you. Okay, so I'm not going to do what I know to be right because they might kill me. Okay, what does that mean? I am going to leave this body at some point anyway. So I'm not going to do what I know to be right out of fear of leaving the body just a bit earlier than I normally would. No, I think I could handle that. I've, right. always, I've always liked that about you, that you sort of viewed life in terms of perspective and time that we're here, uh, the way I do. That's the one thing I've always identified with you. And I, I sort of wondered if you'd ever um, maybe lost someone earlier in life that taught you that it, this is all temporary. No, um, it's... Um I've always rejected religion, and I've always rejected this world is all there is, life's a bitch, and then you die, science. Um, but I, until I had my awakening, shall we say, in 1990, I never really explored, you know, the alternative. And then a series of incredible paranormal experiences over a long period of time put this information in front of me. Um, and um, I'll tell, I tell you a, a, a quick story. Um, when I was writing um, Alice in Wonderland, the World Trade Center disaster, I was saying to people, 
you know, if, if I'm going to get to another level of understanding of what the hell's going on, I'm going to have to get out there and see this reality in an, from another perspective. Uh, not in some dream where you wake up and you think, you know, was that real or was it a dream? But actually where I consciously see it. About the same time, I got an invite to go to Brazil, the Brazilian rainforest, 2003 this is, and um, and partake of something called ayahuasca, as well as talking to a, to a group. It was over a week. And I could have taken this ayahuasca four times. It's a rainforest plant. I took it twice. I had the most extraordinary experience. Some people have bad experiences, by the way. Um, but uh, particularly on the second night, um, what, it, it tastes like licorice. And, and you, you, you take it, and then it takes about an hour to kick in. And what happens is um, when you close your eyes, you're in another reality. But when you open your eyes, you're back in this one. The thing is, though, that your eyes don't want to stay open. See, they keep shutting. And what happened in, uh, in, in, in that five hours is as it kicked in, this female voice, as loud as mine is now, started to explain the nature of physical reality and how it's all an illusion, a holographic, illusory physical illusion and how it's just basically an experience and we are consciousness and the consciousness is eternal it's indestructible it just goes on um, anyway and loads and loads and loads of other things um, and uh, I came back to Britain and I started researching mainstream science and quantum physics and I found that science had sussed what this voice had told me but because they operate in disciplines instead of the whole they were all in different parts and when you put the parts together the, the evidence is already there in this world that this is a, a, a uh, an illusion and so it transforms my well it transformed everything because you know most people, and the, the system does this on purpose, I've written at length about this, how the system does it, from cradle to grave. From, from cradle to grave, a human life is a download of perceptional programming, that's what it is. Um, the education system is simply downloading to um, the, the, the young population a perception of reality. And they test you, if you've accepted that level of reality, nature of reality, by uh, exams and then the media is pounding out the same version of reality mainstream science and mainstream medicine is pounding out the same uh, 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 reality and as long as you keep paying your taxes and turning up yeah, work and it, it's fine. it's it's based on what I call the postage stamp consensus this is a narrow band of information sense of the possible what is known as the normal and if you stay on the normal then you're normal you're credible you are anyone that steps off the postage stamp wanting to explore other areas 